afternoon, Monday afternoon, and I've just been harvesting and put some boxes just there. You could just see them, the orange box there. And I will show you what's actually in them because this is the orders which are going out tomorrow morning and I'm being organised and at the end of my lunchtime just getting them done. So I'm just out here having a quick glance at the pumpkins. And look at that. Look at the colours here. So hang on, let me go back into the main bit. Look at all these white ones here. This is looking spectacular. Really nice. So everything's, as it's all dying back, you can start to see them more. Now these rows here, that this very top end, have definitely got a white and green theme to them um not very many orange ones which is interesting because these were the seeds that i grew on and seemingly i don't seem to have done any normal orange um, pumpkins but everything that way is orange so that is good so yeah i'm just out i've got uh the next trader who is going to come down and join us i didn't notice i didn't announce one last week it was such a crazy busy week um so the next people who are going to come in down to join us is three witches kitchen which is a local um foraging homemade kind of jams preserves sauces i think they do salts and all sorts of things absolutely amazing really good to do these little jars of, of stuff they've been very active down the south of the island so if you are on the island you might have heard of them when they were down there um i've not seen too much of their stuff up north but there there is going to be because they will be joining us on this bit here over there um so that we can um share some of their wonderful produce with us so from that i am actually just going to find them a pumpkin which is going to allow them to produce something i can't quite remember exactly what it is they said they were going to do but i cannot wait i've got some of their salts and jams and stuff and they are spectacular and uh, just the other day they were commenting about making a rosehip jelly and i said oh that's interesting because i'm looking to make a rosehip syrup so we're going to exchange some samples and see um the rosehips which i'm picking a uh, I could see them the other day. I think they're down here somewhere, just on this bottom boundary. Um, so a lot of the Three Witches products is foraged from the hedgerows, which is really good. Um, you know, at that point, it's harvesting what nature produces. Now, this year has been a stunning year for berries and flowers and everything in there in the hedgerows blackberries it's been crazy for blackberries uh, i think we've got half a freezer full of stuff um which one of the old wives tales is that's going to make it a really cold harsh winter now we've had a fair bit of berries on stuff for the last couple of years and we've not had a hot, cold harsh winter we've just had the warmest september on record on the isle of man um I think it was just the Isle of Man. I don't think it was the UK. I think it was the Isle of Man, which is funny. You know, we I, I'll I'll share. I took a screenshot of the uh, actual thing, so I'll share some of the details in there because I can't quite remember them. I think it's since 2016, and it was only like 0.2 of a degree or something more than 2016. But it has been the warmest September. Obviously, today is the 2nd of October, so we are now barreling downhill towards the um, the open day and everything else is going slightly crazy you know it's just like whoa everything uh, obviously there's a lot going on at the farm with drying beans and stuff the same with this landscaping job which is still going on it will get finished soon um and you know just look at that look at the, look at all the orange dots there uh, it's really interesting to see that some of the other people that i follow in the uk and in the states they're already open on theirs um I don't think we'd have the market for it because at the end of the day, the Alaman, I think we've got 82,000 people. So we don't have that many people. Obviously, the UK has 66 million. The US has 600 and something million, I think it is. Um, so there's a few more people to go at there. Um, so who knows? Next year, maybe? We'll, we'll see. But at the moment, I think we're, we're sticking. Well, we are going to stick with opening on the 21st, 22nd and maybe a day in the week and there might be a possibility of something a little bit special happening on another day uh, i just need to get my head around that and see what we have and whether we hold stuff back or um or, or or just what we've got left you know either one that's funny that's the uh just got a message off the uh, three witches kitchen there um so 
saying something. Can't remember what I was saying, but that's terrible. So yes, I'm going to go pick a pumpkin and um, I'm going to drop that off to them tomorrow and then I cannot wait to see what they're going to produce. I will get a photo and a video with the produce before I go. I've left it there to pick it up on the way back, which is going to remind me instead of it being hidden in the back of the pickup um, and uh, get some more stuff done. So I said I would do it and here it is. So here's what our carrots are looking like at the moment. So some nice size on them. Uh, this box is going to one person, ready for some Christmas pies. Big box full of parsnips, um, some absolutely fantastic ones. They are quite mucky. They're obviously just come straight out of the ground over there. Um, and then the same people who's getting the carrots and the parsnips are also getting two lovely pallets of um, pumpkins. So these are Queensland Blues and these are Turks Turbans. Um, these are wonderful looking things absolutely fantastic so they do look very decorative but apparently they're absolutely epic to eat oh i've just messed up my stack there now and then there is more parsnips in there which uh, i'm not quite sure who's getting them yet but then this bag box tray crate thing has um we've got kale lettuce beetroot um a couple more carrots in there and this is going to uh, the Hutch in Ramsey, who um, do more on the salad based things. So it's all kind of coming together. So Victory Cafe and the Hutch is tomorrow's delivery. Saturday delivery went up to the old guard house, um, who was the instigator for growing of the lettuce, which then everything else has kind of come off, other than the pumpkins. You know, obviously the pumpkins and the parsnips were kind of something I was doing anyway. Um, well, of course it was, because it's a pumpkin pick your own. Um, but the lettuce and such has come from there. So, yeah, I'm just going to load them up into the pickup and then go get my kids. So, see you in a bit. Good afternoon. So, the best way to start today is with a breakdown. Now, I've been... I've, uh, I didn't actually start today. I've left it for today. So, I've been borrowing this mower um, because my uh, gearbox has gone in mine. So, this is being borrowed. Every time I fix something on this mower, something else goes. So I finally got the steering joint to work. And then what went after that? Well, to start with, it wouldn't start. We got it going, put a new battery on it, got that going. It's a bit temperamental to start anyway, but we got it started. Then the steering joint fell off. So we kind of fixed that with Jubilee clips. Um, yes, uh, last week I managed to, because it keeps falling apart, does that? So we... Obviously, I could just get a new part, but it's like 20 quid for that one part, and I'm trying not to put any money into this. As nice as it is, it's uh, not really what I want. Um, and then last week, the uh, deck decided to fall off. So just under here is the uh, deck height adjuster, so you can see the collection of cable ties that are there. They're what were um, holding it together last week, and I've just put that cable on, which obviously needs to be trimmed now. Um, so yeah, we are only cutting a rough job with it. And uh, just down towards the end of the year and then hopefully get the um, my one back up and running for next year uh, Which would be nice because then I could keep it nice around the pumpkins as well It is a really nice mower is that one of mine which is why I've decided to fix it Because it's about 700 quid for a new gearbox But to buy the same mower would be about six grand to get something new now Obviously, it's not new. It's a very old mower, but um, It is nice. I do like it. So yes start of the morning Always away Good afternoon, the weather cannot decide what it's doing to do and I'm now in a rush to get to the school pickup but I wanted to show you one of our turnips. So this is our sweet, one of our Swedes, obviously it's not our only one, we do have many more um, but people have been asking did we have Swedes and yes we do. So these are what we've got and we are going to have quite a few more, Whoa, just kicked a pumpkin, um, open, oh well, no sorry they're not going to be open, they're going to be available on our open day going to put this one in the back of the pickup so I don't lose it um, yeah so they are going to be here and available so that's the Manx version of the pumpkin for on um, uh, Hopchine rather than Halloween which is our kind of like locally one um, so yeah plenty more to come and veggies are doing really well as well been kind of a bit quiet on looking what's going there the uh, rows of lettuce now look like rows of lettuce. The row of spinach looks a bit like a row of spinach. The row of chard looks chardish. You can hear something in the distance. Uh, more spinach, more spinach. The 
the radish uh, like mutants, so we're just ignoring the radish exist. Uh, more carrots, carrots here, and then here is more chard and stuff that I planted in that area where we did out. So plenty of stuff growing. Oh look, we've got turnips up here as well. Turnips here, turnips there, turnips there. In fact, these are all turnips and Brussels sprouts and dead some things. So lots to go on. Um, I'm going to have to run off to school now, otherwise I will be late to pick up my youngest. So uh, yeah. see you later. Well, another day, another load of beans and more rain. So yeah, it's absolutely lashing it down today. I am going to head out to the pumpkin field in a bit once I've unloaded these. Uh, now the rain isn't, now this might sound silly because obviously we're drying beans but the rain will not affect them because we're drying the inside of them. It's just going to put a bit of moisture on the outside which will dry off when they get spread on the floor. So it has started raining heavier than we thought but they have just hit the right moisture content. So these are down to 16.4% moisture inside when they're being ground up. So we're now going to get them emptied out and get them in a barn as quick as possible. So it's probably going to be about 20 minutes from the heat stopping to them in under, in under the barn. We're literally about five, 10 minutes in and we're, we're kind of getting down there. And the camera's getting covered in rain. So I shall see you later. Bye. Morning, Saturday morning, and it is pretty early. Uh, I've just finished my harvesting. So look, I'm actually remembering to do it. So I've got a nice crate full of lettuces, a uh, bag full of carrots there, what's in? Got some little frizzy lettuce there. They're just the starters. Black kale, chard, beetroot, bonus turnip thing, uh, which just kind of fell out of the ground as I walked past. So I've chucked that in there anyway. So yes, managed to do that. Started fairly early because I've got a hockey match, which is really early. Um, normally hockey matches are in the afternoon, but this one I've got to be down in Douglas at quarter past 10. Um, so get this done, get sorted. Fresh cuts since last time you saw me, I think. Yeah, ears have been lifted. Look at that! Awesome! And if you haven't seen it on our social media, what an amazing thing JP Corey of in Ramsey have done, the builder's merchant. They have donated us three sheets, that's three, sheets of OSB um, board, which we are going to use for our cut outs for photo opportunities so that is now up to my lovely darling wife to do the painting because I, I don't do art that's that's beyond me um so yeah how great is that really are supporting the community it's not the first time they've done it and i'm sure it won't be the last time it's the first time they've done it for us i've used them as my builders merchant for 10 years plus although it it's changed its name many times in the process of that but absolutely amazing they'll sort you anything they can put up with me when i come in with the uh, strangest requests and not really knowing what i'd want um and they've sorted it so thumbs up jp curry ramsey absolute superstars uh, obviously i guess that's is that a paid promotion? No, they're not paying me. They just donated something to a community project. So it's not really a paid promotion. I would promote them anyway. You know, they've been absolutely fantastic. I've recommended many people to go to. Um, Harvesting wise, well, yeah, there's not really much. We, so I'll try and keep you out of the wind. Uh, not really much more I can say than what's already been said this week. Um, this week's weather has been abysmal. Next week's meant to be a bit better, I think. Um, so I'll hopefully get the second area counted, this area. So that area had 1,400 and a bit. This area, I think, has more. Just look at it. Definitely looks like more. Um, so we'll get them counted. You know, hopefully we're up about 3,000, 3,500, something like that. Um, so people coming down to meters down here um, on the, the actual day. Um, Who have I announced already? I can't remember. Uh, we've had... What did I start with? Parish Pantry, bringing pizzas, hot cold drinks, and fantastic snacks. Their sweet shelf of like sweet treats is just amazing. Uh, I, I could just kind of go all the way along it and die in a diabetic coma at the end of it. Um, then we've got uh, the Three Witches Kitchen. They're coming down. They've had some of our produce. We've got um, Little Meadow Farm, who've actually just She's just driven past and bit the horn just before I started the video. Um, 
Then, uh, I don't think I've actually announced this yet, but Red Mai, Red Mai and Fire Island, which are the same one there, the chili growers on the island, they're coming down. They're the people which we've bought all our chicken stuff, which our chickens live at. They sell chickens, they sell eggs, they sell locked and meat, and now they've started a separate company called Fire Island, which does all the chilies. Now, they're going to be coming down to join us in the afternoon because they are going to be flat out busy at an open farm in the morning, but... Their produce will be down here. Now, they do hot sauces. They've got hot ketchups and all sorts. But most importantly, they have a sauce called the Hot Tuna. Now, on the Isle of Man, if you're not from here, um, Halloween over here is still based around the Pagan Festival. Not that we're pagans and celebrate it in a pagan way, but it's known as Hot Tuna. Hot, no, Hop Tuna. Got to get that one right. Um, which is the, the Manx version, basically. Um, and at which point they've just done a bit of a play on the words. It's hot tuna sauce. It was last year made with Caroline Reaper, which was hot. Like way too hot for me, to be honest. But pumpkin soup, which I'll have to find a recipe, I share a recipe because it is amazing. Pumpkin soup with two drops, two, two drops of that in it. Oh, just perfect it was so yeah not really much else going to be happening today i'm going to go get this lot delivered and then go get sold for a hockey match um but yeah enjoy your week see you next weekend keep an eye up on social media because obviously we're now getting down towards it we, we are going to be doing sorry my arm's gone numb i'm uh, going to be doing more stuff down here getting ready making this area where i'm parked look a bit more acceptable trying not to create too many muddy tire tracks in everything and um, getting rid of random bits of farm machinery which are still sat in the middle of here i think last time we had something on a pallet down here because it definitely didn't lift that um yeah so stuff's going to be getting sorted all that's going up on social media i'm going to try and keep tiktok up to date a bit more because uh, that kind of slipped by the wayside last time i did a video it went to 900 views straight away so obviously people are watching it or people are scrolling past it whatever it still counts and um, yeah so thank you so much take care have a great week and i shall see you next weekend good afternoon saturday afternoon now and uh yeah uh, it's been a little bit busy we've been doing stuff obviously i'm in the polytunnel it was raining just before it's not now just been having a bit of a sort out and just planted some more pea shoots and um, just put some of these radicchio seeds in that um I was recommended so it's a chicory pala rosa um and uh, a, a, a gentleman who lived in switzerland was telling me absolutely amazing so i've put some in now it's a little late in the season but it does say that we're probably going to get uh, leaves off it um we've got spring onions growing i know they're in a cell but they're probably going to go into the ground in here in between the rows uh this is rocket which um seems to have a lot of grass growing in it um that's a spring onion growing in with it um uh, spin no sorry this is spinach that's rocket so we've got rocket growing over there i've just been having a bit of an issue getting the rocket to grow and not bolt so i've got four trays of that through here so one two three four there uh, obviously this is pea shoots again um and some lettuce over there in under the bench the chicory um no chard not chicory the chard is doing really well lettuce in front of that just had a bit of a weed through there and then this sorry i'll just move my hand uh, this is um something mysterious so these are half of the acorns off our oak tree in the garden and what i've decided to do is as they're trying to grow anyway which obviously you can see there nice little shoot on the top of it um i'm going to put them in there and then i'm going to cover them with some leaf mulch once the leaves fall uh, which i haven't done yet so we'll see if they'll grow the other half i'm going to see if i could get some root trainers there is no way i could have got enough root trainers to do that like i say that that's probably half of what's come up um and there's a lot there it was this sieve i had this sieve full that one was full and there's another sieve mostly full which is deeper than that one um then moving across um the uh lettuce and there's still some chard and kale there that is going to go down to the field just not yet uh, i've harvested the vast majority of the chilies off my two chili plants um well 
there's a collection of plants in them but the two chili hanging baskets which my um boys got me and we've started to clear out the tomatoes from in the house so the canes i've just put up in the roof of here i'll probably move them in towards the middle so they're not going to be touching the um the side but unfortunately um i'm high enough to crash into that so uh we i can't have them there yet um yeah so in here everything's kind of going now my darling wife has kind of gone a bit crazy and uh well she's obviously very crazy because she's with me but um and she has gone and collected i think we said 27 pumpkins from down at the field we've just been down there and she got a bit obsessed with them uh so we now have a lovely display of pumpkins up at the house on the doorstep which is amazing the colors which are there are fantastic so i will post a picture of that uh it is up on social media um i'm going to have to make it shareable because she's posted it um so yeah it's kind of getting there everything obviously you saw what I was harvesting this morning this is the stuff which i'm hoping is going to carry on kind of doing stuff through the winter a lot of the stuff we are planting is a winter variety now anyway because obviously i this is the extent of my polytunnel it is 12 foot long and six foot wide um so there's not a lot of space in here uh, I am hoping to get a bigger polytunnel down at the field, but that's just going to depend on how the pumpkins go and what goes from there. Um, obviously, if we had a big polytunnel, we could put more in over the winter. The temperature currently in here is 18.8. Um, it was up at 30 the other day, um, so I've got a, an app which I can track it, which is really cool. Um, although, I've got to be close to it, so I can't do it from the house. We're not close enough to be on the Wi-Fi from the house. Um, so, yeah, all getting there gonna get this video done this was kind of like a bonus bit at the end obviously i've already said all the thank yous and and all that lot so uh yeah see you next week